Amen. Hi, Nick. It's great to see you again. Kelly from 7 Yes. Hi, Kelly. You mind if I take a seat? Please, by all means. Awesome. Can I use, uh, use some of your desk as well? Absolutely. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Perfect. Thank you Notorious so much. Notorious for clutter. Of course. Same. Honestly, I'm such a clutter freak. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> um, so, I... Um, Last time I talked to you, you were at um, Business After Hours, and we mm -hmm. had a little bit of a discussion, but since then, I've actually visited Table 22, uh, and I just wanted to mention how beautiful it was. Um, my great-great-grandfather is actually was actually literally the 14th right-hand man. Really? So, yeah, it's, it's incredible. I found out on Ancestry, and also my grandfather shows me a lot of antiques from that time, so walking into your, your restaurant really you brought me back forest. to home. Oh, yes, the floors were amazing. I just... It brought me back to such a place where it was such comfort and somewhere I felt like I was very at home. I just wanted to mention that to you because it was very important to me yeah. as a customer. So I know your time is very important. Is 15 minutes still okay for me? meeting today? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. So um, what I'd like to do with you today is kind of get a little bit more of a gist on Table 22's business as a whole, mm -hmm. what your role is in the company. I'd like to talk about my company as well, Seminole Insurance. Good. As well as maybe get, dive into a little bit deeper into um, how maybe if we kind of find value and see if there are policies that you're kind of lacking or you're not able to kind of mm -hmm. fill in the gaps that we can move on with that and maybe proceed as working together in a company. Does that sound good to you? Sounds great. And before we get started though, you know, value and, and gaps, that's kind of something very important. And what I really want to know off the bat, because you can imagine it's a little bit different. Your agency, you know, obviously engages in networking, puts itself out there. Of course. But, I mean, 10 of you a day seem to come through here. And it, I really need to know what sets Seminole apart. And we had a situation, that was about six months ago, mm -hmm. um, where we had some things happen and couldn't get a hold of anybody. There were some questions over whether or not the insurance would even have anything to do with it. Right. So I need to understand what we've got. And I, I need to know that you really know what we need to have in terms of insurance, because I can understand the big picture, but I'm not an expert. Of course. Um, and, and another thing, not to, to be disrespectful, but I'm really glad you came in and, and you know enjoyed the restaurant, and I hope you come back. But I'm sure you noticed you're talking about the floors, the bar area as well. Yeah. But I've got to ask, are you even old enough to have a drink at the bar? Well, I'm, I'm honestly very flattered. Is it something about my age that is more about exactly how I'm um, not able to provide insurance expertise as well as maybe someone who's a little bit more tenured? Well, I think you probably could provide plenty of expertise, but my, our concern would be experience. And again, I go back to we've been burned in the past. We've had some situations where things weren't properly covered. Um, and, and Look, if you've got a good team behind you, let's talk about that. Right. Um, you know, your job is, is to analyze risk and, and whatever else and make recommendations to me. I need to know that you're an expert on restaurants. You might know an insurance policy in and out, but how do I know you know what a restaurant needs? Right. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your um, past uh, problems with our company or with any company, whether you're not really... Well, it wasn't you guys, but the industry. Okay. And like I said... You know, we're a successful restaurant in town, and, you know, we've got, it seems like, 10 calls a day from people who want to sell us insurance, want to sell us coffee, want to sell right. us meat, whatever it may be. Of course. Be. Well, I just wanted to uh, kind of dive a little deeper into my company, Assemble Insurance. We've Which, been in the business for over 36 years. We have worked with many companies, ranging from small restaurants to even Warren Buffett use our insurance. I actually wow. have a testimonial as well from him. I can give to you as well. I'd you love kind to of, see Yeah, that. it's... Uh, he raves about our insurance and exactly how much care we give to each customer. And I just want to emphasize that with you because what I'm trying to do today with you is, is dive a little bit deeper into your business and kind of understand your needs and be able to really get a deeper insight into exactly how I can help you. Like I said, we're in the business for over 36 years. We've been in Tallahassee for more than that. And we are really making an effort to uh, get a lot of local businesses into our um, into our circle, and we worked with a lot of them in the past. Also, I have a lot of bosses above me. I have two managers as well as a great team around me. Mm -hmm. When I joined Seminole Insurance about two years ago, we went through an extensive training program, so I'm learning a lot of the policies and everything like that regarding insurance and being able to make sure that I'm providing the best services to you. Does that 
kind of clarify what you were concerning in the beginning? I think it does. And, and one quick question. Yes. You've got a testimonial from, from Uncle Warren. Yes. That's incredible. Are you guys a Berkshire Hathaway affiliate in any way? Oh, uh, yes, we are. That also speaks volumes. Yeah. The way they recruit and the way they do business, it, it's a recipe for success. Yes, of so. course. Well, I'm glad you met. I'm glad you brought that concern up to me, and I'm I'm excited to you know move forward with the meetings that are right with you. Absolutely, let's do it. Awesome. So, like I mentioned, I loved the floors when I came into your um, restaurant. It was beautiful, and I just was wondering what kind of uh, a process did you go to achieve and uh, attain those floors? It was difficult. Um, you know, obviously we had to to have them imported from Europe. And uh, let me tell you, the, the shipping expense was uh, a little bit out of control. Right. But, you know, it was important to us to create a certain environment. Um, you know, uh, restaurants, hospitality, and you want to create an experience. Of course. And obviously food first, but, you know, atmosphere it is huge. Right. How you perceive, even how you maybe even taste the food. Of course. Um, you know, and, that, and that's kind of... In keeping as well those antique beautiful floors with that bar area, yes. uh, which is also really a, a unique, unique situation. Um, you know, again, I'm sure you saw it, yes. but that's an area of concern as well because that's another super unique uh, build out. So definitely, we'll need to, to talk about that as well. But the, the short answer to your question is, you know, we paid thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, um, and of course tariffs to import them and. and it was uh, no easy task. It took about six months to get them here from, from when we first realized they were available. Right. So when you were bringing them in for the six months, were you closed to shop for any time? Were you, is there any lost revenue that you had because you were bringing in the floors? Well, we weren't open yet. Okay. Um, basically, I actually acted as, as you know, from another life, let's call it. Mm -hmm. um, I have a general contractor's license. Okay. So that actually saved us some money because we didn't have to go out and hire a GC. We could run our own subcontractors. Um, but it took us about nine months um, from when we leased the premises to get the build out completed and, and to be ready to open for business. So you mentioned the floors and it took a lot of money to get it to you. It took a lot of time mm -hmm. to in install and it is very unique and antique to your kind of look. It goes for your ambiance and your place. What do those floors mean to you as as just like history in, in kind of question? So I'm a history buff as well. Yeah. And, and I mean... They're, they're incredible, you know, to, to think that, you know, some of the other people over hundreds of years who have traversed the, the same floorboards, of course. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty special. Right. So worst case scenario, I know that some, you know, shops have some faulty systems. I know, I believe the shop underneath you, you have a gift shop. Yes. doesn't necessarily have the correct sprinkler system. And say if there were to be a fire down beneath your store, what would mean to you if your floors weren't? were kind of caught up in flames and you weren't able to have them anymore. I mean, they're, they're irreplaceable. It would be a sad moment. And let me mention, um, we are considering actually purchasing that shop downstairs. Right. And uh, I don't know if we're going to keep it as a gift shop, but if we do repurpose it, you know, maybe use it for storage or even create a catering kitchen or something like that down there. Um, it, when we do the renovation, I believe the new building codes will require that we install sprinklers. Of course. Um, so that's... Actually, another reason to buy it. <laughs> of course. Well, I actually have my business card from you as well. I forgot to mention that to you at the beginning. And, um, you know, we're talking a lot about insurance. Is there anyone else who would be benefit from this conversation as well? Um, I mean, I'm the decision maker. I do have a, a silent partner, um, you know, and obviously he likes to, to kind of know what's going on. But I run the day to day, and you know. And what was his name? Uh, Just, you know, I know it's your silent partner, but if he's in his name is also Nick. We're we're a bunch oh. of Greeks in the restaurant. Business, oh, cool. So everyone's Nick, Nikki, Nicholas. Yes. Okay. Well, when you are adopting a new insurance policy, uh, what kind of steps and procedures do you go to to do that? Well, for one, I need someone like you to guide me through them. Right. <laughs> um, you know, like the the long story short is, let's make sure that you know we're not uh, decreasing coverage from what we have now. Right. Um, obviously, the business is growing. We've got some really interesting, really special property. We just talked about that. Of course. So basically, I just need to know the T's are crossed, the I's are dotted. Um, if something happens, we'll have some emotional devastation, but life goes on. We'll right. get back in business. We'll have a nice place. That's what I need to know. Of course. I understand that. It makes a lot of sense to be able to have that communication with your insurance agent. Do you currently have an insurance agent, and uh, who is it? We do. 
Um, you know, we keep getting bounced around between uh, like service agents. Um, so, you know, there's a guy who came in and sold us the initial policy, but I don't even know who our point person is anymore. We just kind of call a phone number and one week it's Betty, one week it's Jim, you know? Right. So that's another thing. If, if you know, I understand you're out on sales calls all the time, but if we could have a point person, that would be fantastic. Yeah, of course. Anytime I am put onto an account, I service that account by myself. I obviously have the support of my staff mm -hmm. and my bosses, but I'm the pinpoint person that will be taking your calls and making sure that you're uh, a health account, not health account, but you're, <laughs> you're kind of making sure that I'm I'm going to be there for you every step of the way. Make sure that you know everything that's going to be happening in Great. your insurance policy. Do you know what kind of policies you currently have? Um, I mean, we have liability and we've got uh, property coverage for, for the, you know, build out and our stuff, our tables, chairs, stuff like that. Right. Um, I think we have an umbrella. I can't remember if it's one million or two million. Um, and I think that that's about it. Okay, so going back. Oh, workers' comp. Okay, yes, of course. Going back to a little bit more of, you know, I, I noticed I read in the Tallahassee Democrat, you did some renovations. You said you were your own general contractor. What other renovations have you done in the place? Um, well, obviously, you know, we had to, to get paint on the walls. Um, there are a couple of uh, interesting window treatments and molding, I'm sure you noticed. Yes. Um, you know, everything's custom. And, and again, I, I keep going back to the bar. That, that bar area is so cool. It, it, you can kind of tell right. um, when you look at it. It actually used to be, uh, there was a bank um, that used that bar setup. It was the bank teller window. Right. So we were able to kind of modify it a little and create a really, really cool bar sitting area there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was a huge undertaking because it had to be moved from the old bank facility. Um, you know, we had to, because it had the, the teller windows. Yes. Um, we had to get rid of those frames so that it was all level. You know, you put your little appetizer plate. Yeah. Drink glass, stuff like that. Um, that was a huge project. Um, and other than that, I mean, it, it was just kind of what you see that the space was pretty bare. Right. Um, so we also put up some dividing walls. Um, the big, uh, you know, it's not quite an open kitchen, but we, we did put the, the divider with the big, huge window where you can see into the kitchen. Right. Um, pretty much all the partitions mm -hmm. um, had to be framed out and hung. Okay, so speaking of that, you know, that bar area, you you, you mentioned that it was kind of a costly uh, renovation for you. How much would you say in total it cost you to move it, to place mm -hmm. it, to put those beans in? Well, it wasn't as outrageous as the floors, right. but, but that's obviously because it didn't have to come across an ocean. <laughs> right. Um, I would say, I mean, of the total eight hundred grand that we spent um, just on the, the construction type costs mm -hmm. and, and getting stuff here, that bar was probably it's probably close to a quarter million of it. A quarter million. And it was probably two hundred fifty thousand. Wow. So you mentioned, you know, this this bar is very important to you. It's kind of brings together the entire place. And I wanted to know what kind of, do you have special insurance for that specific bar or it just kind of follows under the umbrella? Um, we can get you the, the policy, but I mean, as far as I know, we've got property coverage and it's property. Right. So obviously it's it's important to the, the structure of the building. It kind of puts a lot of stuff, the floors, the bar. I, I believe you also put in a new staircase or you, the top stairs of your building to kind of, yeah, as your own general contractor. Yep. So overall, how much would you say in renovations that you that you made? I, the total cost was right around eight hundred thousand. Okay, so that was the cost. And you have kind of a policy that covers all of that or most of that? Um, I actually haven't looked at it in, in a little while, but I mean, we I had conversation just like this with whatever his name was. Right. I think you can tell he was big on relationships. Right. Um, but it, it should be what what we need. Of course. I'm so sorry they had that experience with somebody else. I I want to personally tell you that I'm going to be here for every, if, if we do end up working together and find that we are a good team together, that I'm going to provide value to you and make sure that I am here at your beck and call whenever you need me to be able to shop, provide insurance information mm -hmm. as well as just general information about restaurants because I have been in the industry for over two years. So I, I want to give my knowledge to you and kind of help you grow as a business because I know that's what is the biggest thing for you as well. Well, I appreciate that. Of course. And, uh, you know, now that you've set the expectations for those things, you know, we look forward to, to potentially uh, being able to do business with you and, and 
you living up to them? Of course. Well, I know that you, you, know, you spent a lot of on renovating this place, and it's very close and dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that you're able to have that coverage overall. And if it's all right with you, I'd love to. Yes. <laughs> Oh wow! All right. Good 